Hey guys, so going out now, some of the guys have gone out ahead of me and uh, they've encountered a problem with the child and outreach, so we are just hurrying ourselves along to get there, see what we can do to help and see what's going on. So I'm with Ali, who we haven't done any outreach with for many, many years. It used to be just me, Ali and uh, Tom once over. So it's normally Ali's driving these days because he's got a driving license now. But it's like old times. <laughs> Communication is always a problem when you're out on outreach. Mobile phone signal, where people are, no landmarks. So Tom claims he saw me drive past him, so we came back down the hill, but now Tom can't find us, which is bizarre because I should be on the road. So like he saw me, there's only one road here. <laughs> So, Tom saw the wrong car, we think it's the one driving towards us, so that's the case. We need to go this way. Middle of nowhere. Never would have found this without word of mouth, thankfully. But very, very beautiful view. Oh, actually, I'm talking about Ali before anyone says that, because last time I said that to someone in front of me, they said how inappropriate it was to comment on the woman ahead of me when I was referring to the vegetation and the scenery. Okay, but it's very beautiful. But would she stop drinking alcohol with those things? No one would want her working in the house while she's drinking. No. She doesn't want just your future tense, not a present like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> she wants to stop later, not now. Yeah, not now. And spoken like a true alcoholic. So, so. So this little shack behind me, mud house, is where Elizabeth and her mother are staying. And Elizabeth is a chronic alcoholic using the local uh, brew from bananas called Mbege. Looks like soup. Very, very potent stuff. From what you see her doing to people, it's very, very potent stuff. The smell of it as well. Never tasted it though, as you know I don't do alcohol. So I've offered her uh, rehabilitation best I can I told her we can get you a job in the home with your daughter if you're just willing to say now that you're going to give it a go at stopping and she said no I don't want to stop now I'll stop later so I can't bring a lady like that into Feathers Tale 
Uh, we'll carry on on outreach with her, but the baby is very neglected. The neighbours are the ones who called us and the village government. Uh, she gets really drunk and she leaves the baby at these local Mbege houses, which is like a, a small, horrible pub, very dark places. And she leaves the baby laying around there and the village government have arrested her for it a few days to try and get her to sober up, didn't work. And poor Elizabeth's laid there very, very vulnerable due to that. And if you don't see all my other videos, I have a child in my care uh, who, when she was just four months older than what Elizabeth is now, was raped by somebody right in a, in a house next to an Mbege bar, because that is the sort of people. Alcohol creates all of the depravity that you want it to create inside humanity, and those people are often the most depraved, the ones in the in big air houses, so cheap to get unbelievably drunk every day. So this is why I have a very strong stance against alcohol. I just don't see the need in it whatsoever. You know? I'm glad we came because Elizabeth is massively malnourished, hugely vulnerable, very neglected, and with a mother so into alcohol and not into her child, nothing you can do. The mother's pregnant and I told her, you might damage the next child that's in your stomach by drinking and she said, I'll stop drinking later. So, shan't judge her, who knows what she's been through. And unfortunately I don't have a facility for this. Uh, I want one. I'd love to rent a house and put some counsellors in there and open up an alcohol rehab place. Don't have it yet. Someday, maybe. But for now, Elizabeth will come with us. Uh, because her mother has told us, the village government have told us, and the neighbours have told us that she will not have any quality of life here. And she's not having any quality of life. She spends her whole time in that room by herself, or outside bars with the scourge of Tanzanian society, those who drink this in Bege constantly. Sad. Oh, and Elizabeth has cerebral palsy, spastic cerebral palsy, and she has seizures a lot as well. In case you're wondering, uh, she's a special needs child. Likely because the mother can't be strong and let go of her alcohol addiction, so probably did this to her unborn baby by getting drunk on alcohol and creating whatever problems that creates in the womb. So, alcohol is the fuel for the weakest in society, in my eyes, and it always will be. And that echoes into the behavior of Westerners, as I always say when you see all these football people fighting each other on the streets like children. They're the weakest of our society, and this is the weakest of this society. This is dangerous. Wow. Okay. Well, it's more hygienic than the floor, I guess, but that's the toilet. In case you're wondering what I've just shown you. More hygienic than pooping in the woods, but pretty rough. Poverty. But she's not willing, not strong enough to let go of alcohol, unfortunately. So you can't win them all. It's not her fault. It's just the nature of the battle. You win some, you lose some. It looks like this woman has been won by he. I call our enemy. Ah, leo ameni pigia story nyingi sana. Sad. Oh my god. Say what if she die? Oh, she came last time she was really bad. She got a stroke. You know, as well as being frustrated, not so much at the woman, not at the mother. I'm frustrated at, I think, the energy behind it, the alcohol, the, whatever you want to call it. You know, the etymology of the word alcohol is, uh, is it alcohol, which is the soul-eating spirit, I believe, is how it works. I'll put it at the bottom of the video. 
And this is it. If you if you use it for the wrong reasons, it does eat your soul. It's a spirit that eats your soul. And look, we sell spirits all over the world, you know. Like vodka, blah, blah, but we call it spirit. But really deep down among the anger and frustration, it's just plain sad that this poor woman can't find herself to look after and to be the most natural thing in the world, maternal and mothering, is completely blocked from her. You know, her free will corridor is so minute because her flesh is so loud for this addiction that even her own daughter doesn't matter. Or the child in her stomach. And this is echoed, as I always say, in Western culture, because the more you indulge in these stimulants, the more into your flesh you get and the further from your soul you become. And you come away from your natural rhythms. And we see it very clearly with people all over the world. It's very, very clear. So, you know, pray for this lady. Keep visiting her until the day she says she's ready to stop, I guess. But that day is not today. And there's a massive reluctance in me taking the baby away. I'm very torn about it. But I've asked her repetitively, just come with us and give it a go. Not now. She just wants to drink tonight. It's as simple as that. So. Yes, pray for her. That's all we've got left to do. Sadness framed in unbelievable beauty. Story of my life here. I'm very conflicted about this one. tobacco tree. So Ali is going to make himself a cigarette. So. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. You don't like tobacco? Yeah. I'm sure here they do. <laughs> guys we've had to split up and Ali and I are heading back with baby Elizabeth and she's very very sweet so Ali's playing Baba for the moment but we are right out in the developed undeveloped shall we say Ali I don't remember this road I don't remember this road <laughs> it's different we're a little I think we're a bit lost just driving around in the forest <laughs> On yes. strange roads. Who I ask you. Yeah, for sure. This is, not, <laughs> this is different. Change. Change. So, okay. Ask this one. Kiss on a yo. How's it, my man? Little more. On the way home, I thought I'd share something with you. That's Ali. If you watch the early videos, you will see there was a time where. I mean, before I was making videos, there was just me, Ali, a very old motorcycle, and a point and click camera, no video camera. And that wasn't really that long ago. So me and Ali have been in a whirlwind of expansion because just over three years ago, that's what it was. That's all that was here. And now there's 75 staff and however many children. It's crazy. Is this Tom ahead of me? Tom. <laughs> I'm 
just about to overtake Tom. He's supposed to go ahead of me to get the other children. He's just down there. <laughs> <laughs> but he is driving an automatic beside my <laughs> friend. So it's not good. This is the worst. Bully, bully. This is the problem, guys. We need a four wheel drive. He's stuck in. <laughs> we waited a long time to we walk up the hill with his face, and he's just here now. So it's too much. It's too much for the little cars. They can't cope. Hey! You need some money to go buy Maputa. You don't know. The gauge don't work. Yeah. Yeah, check out F, 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 Arabian. Yeah. Yeah. You touch out on here, Papa. You touch out. You gonna be missing Papa. Tengi sa Papa. Kata. You tengi sa Papa. Kata. Fungoka Kenya. Papa. Eh. It's the one by this kitty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good driver. I'll, I'll see you in Japan tomorrow. Eh. <laughs> 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 the roads are just too bumpy, guys. Like, seriously. Seriously. I mean, look at the, our cars jumping all over. It's got massive suspension, so. Ah, for it's all.